Ordinary freedom-loving Americans are rising up. They're rising up against their own federal government and they're rising up to defend the southern border in Texas. Yes, the confrontation between the federal agents and of course the National Guard in Texas continues as more illegal migrants are coming in to America and Joe Biden's government says, eh, it's okay, let them come in anyway. While uh, Governor Abbott is uh, asking support from all the other states and they are doing it. But now, something else is happening. Yet there's a huge movement that's been created, take our border back convoy, that will start basically and now and then tomorrow uh, and the website is uh, takeoutborderback.com and these guys are absolutely fascinating yes these are americans from all across the country all over the place who are now on their way to texas they're also sending some people to california and other places in terms of the border situation but over 700,000 people are on their way to protect the border because the government is not doing its job We also had this interview on Fox News with Congressman Keith Self, uh, who also came out in support of the convoy. Let's talk about this trucker convoy. You brought this up just a moment ago. So this is called Take Our Border Back. It kicks off Monday. So you've got multiple starts. You've got trucks leaving from Virginia Beach that are going to go through Texas, Arizona, California. On the website, it describes the event, event as a peaceful assembly, encouraging all freedom-loving and law-abiding Americans to attend. I saw that you posted on X to raise awareness about that. You obviously just mentioned it a moment ago. I understand that you're going to be speaking once they get to Eagle Pass. Uh, I also see that you know that it's going to go through Yuma. It's going to go to San Ysidro, California as well. Uh, 700,000 vehicles? That's the prediction here. How do you keep that, well, peaceful and on track? That's a lot of trucks. Well, the people that have organized this are the same people that went to California to D.C. with the truckers. Uh, I understand we're going to be joined by Canadian truckers. So these people uh, are committed to a peaceful demonstration that we've had enough. The American people have had enough. We're demanding that the Biden administration do its job, enforce the laws on the books, uh, and secure our border. Eight million people during the Biden administration, uh, that's more than the population of Ohio. Uh, this is the time for us to rise up as the American people and demand that our president do his job. Uh, this should be a peaceful movement of the American people joined by other uh, nations if they want to come. This is the Canadian farmers, uh, truckers. This is the German farmers. This is the French farmers. This is the Dutch farmers. This is a movement well beyond the United States that people are simply tired of the overreach of their federal governments and we're pushing back. Now, these sort of organic grassroots movements against globalism is very important to be supported. It's very important to spread the word. Make sure to share this video so everyone knows what's going on in America, just like the truckers in Canada and, of course, the farmers in Europe. Let me know what you think. 
I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.